Hey, Owen. Good, how are you? Okay. It's okay, no worries. I remember movie TV tech news. Oh, okay. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much no for coming in. I hope you have a good time. You too. Oh, well. Thank you so much for joining our table as little as it's going. Sorry, yeah. forgotten you. <laughs> it's okay, no worries. There's, there was a lot. Um, what are you looking forward to this season? I mean, it's like my greatest wishes came true, actually, because when uh, we got the new writers on board um, in January or December, um, we we discussed uh, the second season, and they and they asked. Him, I sort of told them where I was, what I was thinking we would we could potentially see for Manfred this season, and they completely embraced it, and they it, it completely went along along the lines of what they were planning to do anyway so uh, from the from the very start um just Manfred goes a lot darker within himself and in spite of himself yeah so the, so there you, you get to see like the evil side of Manfred is that probably some leftover this, from the from demonic, the demon residue yeah, yeah. Okay. they call it demon cancer that sort of eats at his soul uh, and, and threatens to completely take over uh, the heroic version of him. Is that what you were asking for, to go darker? Yeah. Are we going to see Grandma? But it's funny, more? too. It's dark, but it's funny. Uh, are we going to see Grandma? We are going to see Grandma. She's I know the fandom's, like, obsessed yeah. with her. Uh, so am I. I mean, I'm a really big fan of Joanne, who play in, 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 plays her and also Zelda the character. Uh, I think there's... It's just a completely... Like unique relationship between you know the, an adult man and his like dead grandma's ghost, who's also kind of his conscience, mm -hmm. uh, good and bad. <laughs> um, yeah, I think they just have a really great banter, and so she's definitely back. And they and it makes even though she's moved on to the afterlife, uh, they found a, a way to bring her back that makes sense and isn't so isn't far-fetched, I mean, in this universe, at least. It's not. Uh, and it's great. What's been the most challenging first season uh, that you, either episode-wise or a scene or anything, that you found very challenging? Well, or physically? Actually challenging as an actor. It's, the sm it's like the small... It's like making sense of things that are... that are they can seem far-fetched. Or like to, like to ground these characters... Uh, and make them human and relatable as, as, as people. Um, like, I enjoy the crazy stuff, uh, but it, and they're welcome challenges, you know, like, I, there's more of that this year too. There's possessions and voices and accents that I get to do, which is always nice, and, and I, but you just jump in and you go for it. You can't overthink it, and so ultimately, it hasn't proved to be that challenging. <laughs> it's just like very rewarding because you get to go all in and, and, and I, yeah, you just get out of yourself and it's just such an extraordinary opportunity actually to be able to play so many characters in the same show. And we're not gonna see Creek back this year. We are. Week. We are? Okay. We are, she's not back in every episode, but she's okay. definitely there. Uh, their Manfred and Creek struggle in their relationship a little bit because of everything that happened to her in the previous season. Um, be, yeah, I mean, it's very traumatic to, to have found out that her family this whole time were either uh, psychopaths or psych, psychopath apologists. Uh, uh, and, you know, it's and, and as Manfred goes a little bad, it's proving difficult for her because she, to, to be sleeping with the potential enemy. <laughs> uh, so, she, so sometimes she thinks she's had enough. Can you give us any teases for season two so far? Okay. I know it's been very... <laughs> uh, I think I, haven't I? <laughs> um, I, you know, I, I just think that we're really... Like, the, I love the new writers. Uh, I mean, some writers have come back with the new showrunners. Uh, I feel like we, it's just a great opportunity to be able to readjust after season one, to do more, bring more, 
bring back more of what works and, and less of what didn't and to learn from our mistakes uh, and, and just make it better and I think you know, having seen the show and going back to it, it's it's nice to like just like really embrace the tone of it and and lean into it and just go all in. There was a oh, it's okay. Thank it's you back. so much. Thank, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.